A record crowd turned out for this year's Northwest 10K here in Letterkenny in ideal conditions. After a wet morning, things cleared up and it turned out to be a wonderful event again. This one has been hugely successful again, as it has been over the years, when over €650,000 has been collected for local charities. Well, to be fair, since we started, those 29 charities in total have benefited, and to the tune of 656000 has been divided among them. So, you know, and every money that's collected is spent in Donegal. The North West 10K Committee, like, it's not a, an athletic committee, it's a really... A, a collection of everybody that's involved in any sport or you know that type of stuff so we're delighted to get a turnout like this it's a fitness thing and it's everybody's getting involved in it and that's what it's all about this is our second year we decided last year to get involved and give something back to the local community and we searched around for for, for, a, for an event that we kind of we thought captured the community spirit and what better than the, the northwest 10k so yeah we're back on board for the second year and hopefully many more years to come interestingly you just said to me uh, senator jimmy hart someone who you did this with uh, last year Unfortunately, I uh, had a bit of an accident since that. We wish him well, of course, Stephen, but I'm sure you're thinking about him today as well. Our thoughts and prayers are with, are, are with Jimmy, all right, Charlie. This time last year, myself, Jimmy, and uh, former county footballer John Gilday, we shuffled around it. Unfortunately, Jimmy's not here to shuffle around it this year, but hopefully he'll be back next year. But he is definitely in our thoughts. This year, charities benefiting were the Conwell Parish Church Restoration Fund and the Letterkenny branch of the Dyslexia Association of Ireland. Yes, uh, we've been associated with us, Charlie. Uh, Charlie for the last four years or so. We've been uh, an associated charity for three years, so it's been very beneficial as an association for a fundraising effort. And yeah, we're one, fortunate to be one of the main charities this year, so it's, it's very good for the branch. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Conwell Parish Church is situated opposite the St. Union's Cathedral, and it's the oldest building in Letterkenny and um, over 400 years old. We have to restore the tower and spire because water has ingressed during the years and it's done a lot of damage. So. We need to do it before it gets any worse, and it's costing uh, a lot of money, yeah. over a hundred thousand. So we've been tr very grateful for the 10K to take us on board this year, along with other fundraising stuff that we're doing. Over 2,000 runners and walkers took place, with Kieran Doherty from Letter Kenny and Natasha Adams from Lufford, the winners of the men's and ladies' event. The winner coming, Kieran Doherty, 32-10, 32-11, 32-12. Fantastic run there by Kieran. Yeah, 32 12 is good enough on that course because um, I'm doing Manchester in two weeks' time, so it's a lot flatter course. So I and then with more competition around you, I can take another minute off that hopefully. Yeah, getting better hopefully. as you get old. Get, getting better as you get older, I suggested, Dean Martin. Aye, uh, yeah, it's just consistency, mm. consistent training twice a day, six days a week, and it's just training with the younger guys too, and to just bring you on. And 31. 32, 32, 35, 32. Brilliant run altogether from Natasha. 35, 32, I think it was it? I think so, yeah. I think I'm over the moon, Absolutely. even though I can't speak. Yeah. <laughs> Has a PB for me, so I'm very happy. Yeah. I mean, we were at the 7K spot there, and uh, I think we, we, we were looking, we couldn't believe you were coming flying at that stage. And, and Neil Martin said to me, This is going to be a great time for Natasha. Yeah, I felt strong on the hills, so I think that's what that's what gave me gave me the PB and helped my time overall. Yeah, PB by what? Um, by that was thirty six twenty two okay. four weeks ago. So that's significant. Number yeah. of seconds off it. So nearly a minute. So yeah. I'm ecstatic. Yeah. We're doing the coast to ten k. This is the first ten k we've ever ran. So okay. here goes. Why are you over for this event? Uh, this is Connor's hometown. So. Uh -huh. He's dragged us all over from Liverpool for the weekend and again it's yeah, and again it's well, what's the association here, Connor? Well, I've moved over to Liverpool, I'm there for four years now. Okay. So bored one day I have seen these crowd out running, I says I'll join them and take it from there. Try Charlie, going to try and do the Tin K. Have you done it before? No, never done the Tin K before. Okay. First time, but uh, we'll give it a go and see how it goes runs uh, out. What's the motivation to do it? Tra Operation Transformation in Terman started in January, twenty two stone seven. Yes. Don't 18 store now, so I decided to give it a go and see can we do it. Fantastic. When so many people turn out uh, to take part uh, in this 10K, and this year in particular for the Conwell Restoration Fund and the Lexia Letterkenny, uh, great people. Mayor of Letterkenny, Pascal Blake. Pascal, are we running or walking? All walking, Charlie. Walking. I've been involved in a programme since September with Men on the Move and I uh, lost two and a half stone week weight and uh, I'm geared up for it this year better than I have been in other years. Just have so many people here, right, and uh, for great charities as well and it's great how the letter can and surrounding areas turn out so well for this event and I think it's very important to do that for this event. I think these events 
nobody could express the importance of them for the people of Donegal. Because when you do events like this and do them well, it encourages people to come to our county and it portrays, if you like, an image of our county that the people are so willing to participate. Yeah, we've done it a few times before, so we're looking forward to it today. Okay. What sort of time are we looking at? Oh God, this is our first year running it now, so fingers crossed. We've walked now before, so. A wee bit tougher to run it. A wee bit tougher, doesn't get no easier. Good, good charities. But it's a great boost for the town, the business-wise too. You know, there's two or three thousand people in town today. It's good for a bank holiday weekend. Charlie Collins for Donegal TV at the Northwest 10K in Letterkenny. Thank mm -hmm. you.